the good August evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Joe No Cigars. As we start Punch Month, we are going to be doing one that I've enjoyed a number of times in the past, and that is the Punch Gran Puro Rancho, which is the Robusta size. So a five and a half by 52, or is it a 54 ring gauge? I'll check on that. Either way, it's a Robusto uh, with a very nice dark tan appearance. Nice aroma of earth. Hint of McChocolate and a little bit of leather in there as well. Sloppy double cap, uh, but pretty good construction from the first initial appearance. I've had uh, a number of Grand Puros in the past, really have liked this one a lot. I was originally going to be doing the bare knuckle today, um, but I pulled the bare knuckle out that I had in my humidor, and the wrapper is just like ripped to hell. I don't know how the hell it happened, just a couple places where it's just it's cracking and flaking and couldn't do that one for a review, plus it would just look like shit for my thumbnail, so I decided to get one that looked a little bit nicer. It's also a good one. Um, as the name suggests, the Grand Puro is all from the same region, so the filler, binder, and wrapper leaf all come from the same country. In this case, it's Honduras. They do make a Nicaraguan Puro, um, but I think this one preceded the Nicaraguan, so let's go ahead and get this one cut and toasted, see what we can find out. Very good draw off the first puff. Had kind of a spicy sort of black pepper and woody aroma when I was toasting it. Flavors a little sweet, just subtly sweet. Getting leather and hints of dried raisin, which is nice. It's kind of a snug draw, but I really like the smoke output. And uh, it's the sort of snug draw that you don't really mind because you know you just feel all the smoke coming through when you're doing it. So it almost makes it feel juicy, which I like. Let's see if that continues as we get further in. Let this heat up a little bit further. Catch up with you as we get further into the first third. See you then. About 10 minutes in. And lots of cedar and dried fruit. It was initially a uh, pretty pronounced raisin, um, but now it's just kind of a generic dried fruit, not necessarily raisin. Um, getting some kind of dried plum and dried cranberry in there as well. But that cedar is the prominent uh, flavor that I'm getting quite a bit off the draw. And it's got a small black pepper finish as far as strength, but the length of the finish is fairly long. Still getting that black pepper on my tongue right now through the retro. Kind of a spicy retro. Pretty pronounced black pepper and uh, charred wood. Really nice, um, but not super smooth as far as the, uh, the burn in your nasals. Um, but I like it. And I like the uh, flavors this thing is offering on the draw and finish too. Very good burn too. Uh, good ash, lots of good smoke. Like I said, still kind of a snug draw, but I don't really mind it too much because I really am digging the amount of smoke I'm getting. All right, let's go a little further into the second third, see if we find out anything more. See you then. About 25 minutes in. Boy, this got really good, really fast. Uh, just as we started approaching the second third, went ahead and ashed it. Um, inch was, or the cigar was about inch and a half with the ash, and then we just got this explosion of this wonderful vanilla oakiness, uh, reminded me of like rum barrels, really really nice flavor, uh, medium bodied smoke texture, and uh, black pepper finish is still there, but it's not quite as pronounced, just enough to let you know it's there, uh, and it's always in the finish, and it's a fairly long finish, but I really like that draw flavor. Mm. The uh, foot smoke aroma is just kind of a standard natural tobacco to me. I haven't noticed anything standing out with the foot smoke aroma, but the flavor is great. So really hope it keeps it up like this. Really digging this flavor. All right, let this go as we get further in. See if we find anything else out. See you then. Oh. 
Okay, about 45 minutes in. Took a pretty long break there. I was just really enjoying that second, third. Really nice oak and vanilla flavors. Really, really like those a lot. Um, the aroma off the foot smoke uh, definitely started turning more and more oaky, and I really started noticing it the further I went into it. Uh, it was a really nice aroma. Uh, black pepper still there on the finish, and the flavors really haven't changed as we get here into the final third. Um, the only noticeable change is that we do have a little bit of uh, nuttiness flavor coming through, uh, which is really nice. Uh, really not a lot to complain about with this cigar. I, uh, the only thing that's somewhat of a drawback is the snugness of the draw, but again, it's not really that big of an issue because lots of smoke are coming, lots of smoke is coming through on the draw, and uh, you're definitely getting just a blast, dare I say, a punch of flavor every time you take a draw. So really have been enjoying this one it's moment of truth time not quite ready to give it to there yet just started into the final third so i will uh, get back with you as we get further in just a little bit further see you then all right just about an hour in whoa what a great flavored cigar this has just been an explosion of oak. Oak has been on display in full force and in the best sort of way. Retrohale, just tons of oak and a little bit of pepper here at the end. And uh, ironically, the uh, black pepper was less potent when I retrohaled here in the final third than it was in the first third. Um, really, really nice, bold, medium body sort of flavor, uh, textured uh, smoke from start to finish and really good burn and ash. Uh, the performance and combustion and construction of this one has been very good. Oh, helicopter. I'll let this guy pass for a little bit. Seems like every day there's a billion helicopters going over my house. And man, have the bugs been out in full force tonight too. Okay. Moment of truth time. Really, really solid cigar. I really like the flavors of this guy. Um, can't really find much to complain about this one at all. Therefore, I give the Punch Grand Puro a four and a half puffs. Um, that might be a little lenient, but I just really have enjoyed everything that this one has delivered for me and uh, can't complain about too much. So, gotta give it a pretty good score. Check out the Grand Puro by Punch. I think you'll be very happy with it. Um, if you like the medium body with lots of wood and sort of vanilla oakiness going in there, you're going to dig this one a lot. I think I'll probably be buying some more of these. I've had them in the past, and I think I don't think I don't think I've enjoyed this particular stick more than I have tonight. So, really did it for me today. I think you should really check it out. Thanks again for stopping by at the Jono Cigar Channel. As always, please like and subscribe. Click the icon in the bottom right corner to continue getting notifications of the new videos that will be coming out. I've been doing about three reviews a month and sometimes a bonus video on top of that. Until next time, everybody, smoke a good one.